all prophecies about the Third World War re do refer to the Middle East. The Third World War, which could destroy the whole world, will start its destructive course in the Middle East. Almost all the soothsayers, seers, and prophets and predictions talked about this. And you'll see the uh, a couple of videos back concerning Ezekiel 38 and Psalm 83, the prophecies concerning this. It seem, they seem to be, uh, be they, we seem to be uh, witnessing this in front of our eyes today. The most famous modern prediction on this topic is the statements of the leader of the Liberal Democratic Party, Vladimir Zirinovsky, on air with Vladimir Solovyoy. Note the authors of the Numerology Project AZ, who collected all predictions about the conflict in the Middle East. Zirinovsky expressed the opinion that the elections in Ukraine were the last since, quote, by 2024, such a country would simply not remain on the map, end quote. Moreover, the situation in the Middle East will escalate so much that everyone will completely forget that Ukraine once existed. And according to him, things are heading towards the Third World War, and we must clearly understand that Iran is not Vietnam, nor Korea, nor the Kosovo. And let's remember that the late Zirinovsky predicted, quote unquote, within a day, the opening of the Northern Military District, the fate of Ukraine, the events in the U.S., and so far he has never been wrong. Israeli clairvoyant Ina Mishina, in March 2024, spoke of a fire in the Middle East and also predicted Turkey's participation in the conflict. And he stated, well, she stated, uh, the United States will follow Israel into Palestine, Russia will try to appease everyone, and for Palestine, quote, all Muslims will rise up and fight in the end, end quote, the losses will be enormous and Israel will lose land. Ina Mishina uh, predicted. Even earlier, in August 1871, one of the leaders of the American Freemasons, Albert Pike, predicted the overthrow of the Russian Tsar, the creation of the State of Israel, and the Third World War in the Middle East because of the conflict between Arabs and Jews. Of course, this goes all the way back to Isaac and uh, Ishmael. Now, the British seer, Joanna Southcott, asserted in 1815 that if war breaks out in this region, quote, know that the end is near, the earth will burn with fire from there, end quote. And of course, the world famous fortune teller Vanga could not ignore this and clearly named the cause of World War III war the conflict in the Middle East. One of Michael Nostradamus, Michel Nostradamus, Quatrain spoke of the war, quote, of all the children of God, end quote, with the Islamic world. The people of the sun, not the Muslims, will certainly not cross the sea. The people of Venus, the people of Islam, will conquer all of Africa, but their kingdom will not include the land of Saturn, that is Israel, and the Asiatic part of their country will be overturned, the seer wrote. The Athenite elder George from Georgia also spoke about the military conflict between Israel and Iran, where the U.S. will be on the side of Tel Aviv and Russia on the side of Tehran. Uh, he described the extremely grim results of the conflict, destruction, famine, and looting. Now, no less well known, no less well known is the revelation from the Gospel of Luke, Luke 21, 20 to 22, quote, when you see Jerusalem surrounded by armies, then know that its desolation is drawing near. Then let those who are in Judea flee to the mountains, and if anyone is in the city, let him leave it, and whoever is in the vicinity, let him not enter it, for these are the days of vengeance that all that is written may be fulfilled." End quote. In principle, it's not difficult to understand what is being said when people talk about retaliation from both sides. 20th century visionary Veronica Lucan said in 1964 that, quote, Israel and the neighboring countries were burning during the year. The slaughter will intensify. The living there will, be, will envy the dead, end quote. That is her prediction. Of course, the Middle East has never been calm, but everything seems to indicate that the soothsayers were right. And this I've translated from a Greek article for you. And uh, it... Please leave your comments about this. Thank you for your support. Please support my Patreon account.
The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.